back to the channel and welcome back to another video as you can see from the beginning the white charger has been dropped off to the frame shop where they are going to be replacing the right side rail good news is the left side rail is fixable so we're not going to have to be replacing that one so um while that one's gone it's going to be gone for at least two or three weeks but we have a lot of more work to do as you can see i got one two three more cars in here all chargers these are two sky packs the one in the back is a hellcat well, which I'll be working on. Um, these are gonna be some good content for you guys, so make sure to follow along. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I put an offer up for a 392 swap, parts and labor, and literally it didn't even last two hours, and I had a guy, I believe is, he's from Minnesota. Um, he's actually driving here as we speak. Um, he purchased um, the swap build, or he purchased the swap package, and he has a 2014 Chrysler 300S, I believe. Um, which we'll be um, doing the conversion on. That will include the powertrain, suspension, the interior, uh, of course the wiring, and the labor. But um, while he's doing that, we're gonna, um, I'm not gonna strip it yet. I'm gonna wait for him to come here. That way I can start it up for him. He can hear the motor run. And um, that way he's gonna be uh, feeling comfortable, you know, paying all that money. And yeah, this one does start. <laughs> This one is a scrap title, meaning that I can't register it or sell it. It's uh, it's good for parts only. I don't know why the radio's not turning on. Oh, there we go. So that's why I bought it um, because I wanted to offer a 392 package for whoever, whoever had a V6 or you know 5.7 that wanted to upgrade. And uh, this one actually just got delivered yesterday. So. Like I said, I'm not gonna strip it yet. I'm gonna wait for him to get here and then we'll um, get it okay, make sure he's happy with everything and we'll start chopping it down. So everything's basically sold. You know, it was part of the package. The wheels are gone, suspension, the front and rear are gone, the seats, the dash, center console. Uh, basically, the only thing I have left is these two doors, the rear bumper, the trunk, tail lights. These two doors are sold. They're going on the red Hellcat, which we'll talk about in a minute. And I got the two fenders in the hood. The bumper is no good. This headlight is no good. I think this one's good, but it's fogging up, so I might have a crack in it. So, uh, moving on to this over here. This was the original package I was supposed to sell for the swap. But um, while I posted it, I got so many offers for someone to buy it. They wanted me to fix it and sell it back to them because it has such low miles. It has only 8,000 miles. Oh, the battery's still good. As you can see right there, let me zoom in for you. It has 8,200 original miles. It's a 2019. And this one has um, a title where I could, you know, in Michigan, we call it rebuild salvage. So I can inspect this one um, after I fix it, of course, and I can sell it um, because it has a different kind of title than this one over here. This is a scrap title and it's not registrable to like a new owner or anything like that. It has to be parted out. So that's the story on this one. I am gonna take off the front bumper. I wanna inspect the damages over there because I see the rebar is kind of pushed in. But we'll do that later on today. And here's the Hellcat we have. This is a customer's car. Um, I think he uh, lost control in the snow. Uh, both doors are damaged. The rear suspension was all twisted up. So we had to put this uh, temporary wheel on it. And the biggest damage is the frame rails are pushed over. So if you look over here, look at that gap. And look at this gap, the trunk won't even close. So uh, like I said, we have a lot of work, um, a lot of cars to do. So I'm gonna wait for him to pull up. We'll record you know, his car and we'll start working on this. So in the meantime, it's currently 1.30, he should be here in about two hours. I'm gonna um, start working on this. The only problem is this one didn't have the wheel lock inside the car, so I have no way to take the wheels off until I buy that kit, which uh, removes the wheel locks. Uh, meaning I can't take off the screws inside the bumper that go from the fender. So what I'm gonna do is the bumper is already damaged. I'm gonna cut around it right over here. And then that way I can remove the bumper and I can inspect the damages that are hidden and I can't see. So I'm gonna set up the tripod for you guys. We'll start uh, disassembling this front fascia and uh, 
look behind this, see what's wrong with it. reached in there with um, my ratchet and a swivel and I was able to get those two bolts off. It's kind of tricky because they come inside the fender so you got to fold this, uh, this liner down and just try to work with it. But um, as you can see we have some pinning damages that I was not expecting. I'm going to remove the rebar, check the frame and then see if that needs some work. Uh, hopefully it doesn't but we won't find out until that uh, rebar the rebar is removed and we can see behind it and how it looks. rebar off it kind of beat me up on time because the way it was uh, hit I couldn't remove a single bolt without having to section it up like this so I had to cut it up one by one and take off those 13 mils and for some of them I even had to use a quarter inch swivel because this one is way too big but anyways we got that off the frame is not that bad it's actually fixable it just has a little bend in it right over here it didn't go behind that so that one's straight um, other than that, we have a broken headlight, which I couldn't tell is broken, and the cooling system is also damaged. Not good because this cooling system is pretty expensive. So what I'm going to do is, this car is actually getting towed today. It's going to the body shop to uh, get, that, get that frame rail strained up. So I'm going to take the cooling system off this one when I strip it down. Um, and then I'm going to have to buy another set for this, and I have to buy another set for the white one. So in total, I need three cooling systems for the 6.4 liter which have dual fans and these things are very expensive 
the fan alone is like 600 bucks. So that's, uh, that's what we're stopping on this. Um, the customer for the swap should be here in about any time now. It's about, about 15, 20 minutes. So I'm gonna stop working on this. I'm gonna gather up all the stuff that's on the floor and then we'll just wait for him to come up. Change this bumper? What? You want to change it? Or just well, keep I it? thought you said that we had to to fit the exhaust. No, just, just um, see these right here. Yeah, no. I'm gonna yeah. take these off. Yeah, no, I want to those put the pipes. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. It's gonna look nice, man. How many miles are in it? Uh, it was one hundred thousand three. Oh yeah. Let me find this. Oh, I see it. One hundred three. Yeah. Yeah, I still need the key to move it. Huh? This thing had, yeah, I, I did them all. Yeah, yeah, I know it sounds different. Yeah, yeah, you can take them. No, you can take them. Yeah, I mean, I have no use for them. All right, so here's the car. I didn't want to hold him up too long. He drove for about 10 hours, so pretty sure he was tired. He wanted to head back home. But here's the car. It's a 2014 Chrysler 300S. It is all-wheel drive. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. I know if you follow me on Instagram, I said I won't do all-wheel drive because of the frame and how the trans mount won't fit. But um, I'm gonna make it work on this one. I've done it before. And there we go. Look at that. Some issues. Um, dash don't work. I mean, the radio don't work. But it don't matter. Everything's gonna swap over from the scab. So. I'm going to start um, working on the scat pack, the black, not the black one, the green one. Get that one ready. And what I'm gonna do is when I strip it, I'm gonna put all the parts in this open area. And like I said, I got to borrow the cooling system off this, install it in this one so I could get this one out of here. As you can see, we're kind of running out of space. So let's get started. Um, I don't know how much time I have left on this segment, on this section of the video. There's gonna be a lot of time on this, so I'm gonna split it up into separate videos. That way you guys can uh, you know, watch it separately and not get bored out. Depending on how much time I have left on this video, I don't wanna make it too long where it's gonna bore you guys out. So it might be part of this video, it might not. If it is, then you guys will see it. this one getting stripped today. If not, it'll be part of tomorrow's video. But I do need to take the cooling system off. Um, that has to be done today. That way I can get this car out of here. So I'll get started on that. I'm gonna hoist this one up. Well, no hoist. I'm gonna jack it up, put the stands under it, right over here, and get that cooling system off. So I'm gonna try a different technique. I usually get the car off the floor and take off the wheels and then start stripping it down. But what I'm gonna do this time is get just the front end off, work on the front, then I'll lift the rear end off because I could get it tilted up like this where I could get under the car a lot easier. And we'll see how that works. If that doesn't make it any better, I'm gonna lift the rear end off and put the sands under there too. So um, let me grab my jack.
so wheels are out of the way. I put the lug nuts back on so they don't go missing. Now I'm gonna have to do the same thing I did with that one, which is take off the front fascia. Uh, there's a bolt right inside of here. And there's two balls going through the fender, like at that one. Um, and then we'll get the cooling system drained and swapped over to the other black car. support off I got the rebar off um, I took all the <clears throat> airbag sensors off so they will stay with the core support um, now I'm gonna drain the cooling system and I'm gonna show you how to do that there's a bleeder valve right over there um, just get you a pair of pliers and gently twist it counterclockwise and it should loosen up and then I'm gonna drain it all in this bucket um, because it's a weekend, dealerships are closed, and I have to refill it to get this car out of here. So I'll go ahead and do that and wait for it to drain. Let's see if I can record it at the same time. I got me needle nose pliers. So, I'm gonna aim my bucket right over here. That's it. Let it drain. It will take a minute, but to speed up the process, you should uh, take off this cap. 
to release the vacuum. There you go. Wait for that to drain and we'll come back and start taking this off. So that's all filled up. It stopped uh, dripping, so I'm guessing it's done. It doesn't look like it's much, but <sighs> that's all it is. So now I got this one lifted on the side so I can access that bleeder valve on this side over here. And I'm gonna repeat the same process to get that coolant <sighs> out of the system. There we go. As you can see, this one still has coolant inside it. So I'm gonna get that drained out and then we'll start swapping over the cooling system off of that one to this one. So cooling system is installed. Um, I didn't record it because my battery died on my camera. So I was waiting for that to recharge, but um, everything's installed and I'm going to get ready to put some coolant in it and also bleed the system. So I'm going to do that now, leave it running, make sure everything's okay. And then we'll go back to working on the charger and start stripping the interior. for a second just until the fans kick on i want to make sure it's not overheating and there's no air from the system uh, let's check the temperature gauge while we're here and yeah, right under half which is fine the heat is blowing hot so everything is okay um other than that i'm gonna stop right here i'm getting really tired so i'm come back here tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna focus on working on the sky pack i'm gonna drop down the powertrain get the axle out um, the suspension with the cradle so this is all going to be cleared and then um, we'll drop it down and then start working on the rear. Or I might do the interior first, it don't matter. Um, see, either way, the car is gonna be stripped down. But other than that, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. If there's enough time to record on this part, I'll finish it off. If not, I'll see you guys back on part two.